Wow, this is large audience. Um, but this is good because I want to ask you something later. Not, um, not a standing ovation, which no, I'm, I'm not asking, but um, something to, some, to raise your hand later. Um, so let me start by talking about my friend. He's a typical Japanese salary man, like, um, like somebody mentioned earlier, working hard, living in the center of Tokyo, having a um, 15 years career uh, on his, living on his own. He has decided to move into new corporate housing, Shataku, with somebody he has been in a relationship for a long time. However, his housing agent rejected the application because it, it, it breached corporate housing policy. Why? Was he moving the flat with somebody with like a criminals? No, he breached the policy because he was moving into the apartment with his boyfriend. He's gay. He had decided to do this because he can be wel welcomed or at least accepted. But at the moment he got a phone call from the housing agent, he thought, well, again, when he was small, he was teased by his friend by saying that you are, click, sorry, click, oh, you are Okama. And Okama means gay in Japanese, but quite discriminative sense in it. Since then, he has decided to not talk about his sexuality anymore. He was hot. He cannot talk freely about his true, his mind. And I can feel his pain because I'm the one who was rejected to move into the corporate housing with my boyfriend. I'm gay. Wow, this is the um, biggest coming out in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So this picture is a picture of the colorful cafe. We opened the cafe last year in Hayama, which is in front of Imperial Villa. So I think this is quite ambitious. Um, this place is run by um, NP or Good Aging Girls um, in summer last year. It was only open for the weekend, and it's LGBT supported cafe. This was a place where gay couple can hold their hands naturally in front of straight neighborhoods. It drew more than 1,000 people with a major corporate sponsorship, like a SoftBank, Alfa Romeo, they supported us. But more importantly, this is a place where everybody, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, or straight people, can be themselves. You just can be yourself. So now, I want to ask you here, audience, do you have any lesbian, gay, bisexual friend. Can you please raise your hand? Wow, thank you. It's not a small population. It is often say around two to five percent of the population is sexual minority. In fact, one of the, Jap one of the company, Japan, had an employee survey and it says three percent of the sexual em of their employees are sexual minorities. You might think it's just 3%, but in Japan, 3% means 3.6 million people. That's the same size as Yokohama city, which is the second biggest city in Japan. So we are not small. But so in Japan, like my corporate housing benefit, I don't get the same benefit that the straight people does. For example, pension, survivor's pension, marriage, life insurance, and so on, so on. Some people say, well, 
But in Japan, you have a less hate crime towards sexual minorities. Some historians say in the Edo period, sexual minority was more accepted in the samurai culture. It might be true, but as a gay LGBT person, it's too difficult to be gay in Japan. It might be just difficult to be different in Japan. I don't feel discriminated every day. I don't feel hostility in my everyday life. But I feel ignorance. Some people still do joke about gay. And I hope movement like this, it might be just a small step, having a cafe in Hayama, but this might change the people's perception on the LGBT. I have one story. This is a picture of the cafe at the farewell party. They are all LGBT, straight neighbors, and we had a great time. I love this picture. It's very colorful and powerful as well. One of the guys here was not supportive about our cafe at the beginning, our neighbors. In the end, he is on this picture, and we had a great time. Actually, he is watching us. He's there in Hayama today because we are opening this cafe again this year today, and everybody watching us live. <laughs> Thank you. So let me conclude the speech with my apartment story. My HR helped me show some flexibility, and now I moved into the new apartment last week with my boyfriend. I felt I'm okay to be gay. I can be myself. Thank you.